Hi everyone and welcome, this is Elena and in this video I will show you how to create this card which uses the Hero Art add-on kit for the August My Monthly Hero. So you need a piece of watercolor paper, then the astronomical stamp set. You need a few of the circle infinity dies and I have a wooden board here that I will adhere my watercolor paper onto it using some um, frog tape. So I'm trying to make sure that the edges as I'm adhering because this will be masked area as well it helps to hold that piece of watercolor paper flat onto the surface so it doesn't uh, warp as I add water. Next I'm adding the framelits and I'm tracing them. Those will I'm creating galaxy background as you saw the card at the beginning. So those will be the planets. I'm just tracing them with pencil. Next I'm using uh, Mijella Mission Gold watercolor uh, watercolors and I'm starting first with the darkest so I'll be using um, only like three or four colors. So I'm starting to paint here. I'm doing uh, dry, uh, dry paper with um, paint. So I'm adding first black that I'm using blue and I'll be using some um, is it magenta, like magenta purple. And I'll be adding as well some of the opera pink, like the bright pink that's there. So you can see here, I'm going around the planets. I'm trying not, like this is the blue, kind of teal blue. And I'm as well mixing it up with the black. And just going carefully around the planets. You can as well use a smaller brush. If you're not certain, you can do it with the larger one. So you can switch brushes in between as you go in between areas. So I'm kind of pulling that um, paint and getting kind of diluting it more with water to get darker or lighter areas as well as the where the paint mix they kind of bleed into each other which kind of gives pretty nice effect especially for a galaxy so in between I'm kind of uh, here I'm adding some uh, drop and release just water and that kind of will you see how I'm getting those uh, whiter spaces um, whiter dots not really spaces areas so in that now I'm adding salt, which acts like it will pull out the paint from the paper. So here I'm adding some alcohol. It's like rubbing al alcohol and I'm adding, like you need to make sure that the your area is not very uh, wet or very dry. So it's like somewhere in between, it's kind of shiny. And then add and you will see you'll get those white spots. So I'll use those for stars kind of to, ha uh, to get the halo around them. So next I'm going back, um, kind of finishing painting the other half of, I had to do that actually before the paint dry. And here you see uh, you see it's already dried, so like that area it doesn't really mix, it doesn't bleed into each, uh, the paints don't bleed, the colors don't bleed into each other. So I'm trying to kind of re-wet that area and add more color. And you will see that the end result is much nicer. Right now it looks very, very ugly. So I'm going in between the colors that I use. Black, blue, like teal blue and the purple. The magenta or fuchsia. And then I'll be adding a little bit of opera pink. So I'm just like I have another planet here. So like where I had that border between the dry and wet paint, I add the opera pink. So it's kind of mask that area. So I'm adding it here a little bit more and I'm going back with black. You see how you get that nice effect when the colors bleed into each other. So now I'm going with blue and I'm using a little bit smaller brush. And just painting it carefully around that to get the circle nice. And then you can go even with smaller brush to kind of define more those lines, but I'll do that at the end when I uh, paint the planets. Those, those will be my planets. Now I'm adding more opera pink. Just I touch and release. It's called like drop and release. And you see that paint spreading. So I'm adding again some salt. I'm using uh, sea salt. 
and then I'm adding some alcohol. I have this like very tiny brush and I have alcohol in this plastic cup you can see on the edge on the bottom. And you see how you get those white spots and where the area is wet like you notice that uh, dot kind of the paint collapsed into the middle of the dot. So now I'm adding water droplets like again drop and release and that kind of dilutes the paint a little bit more. Next to speed up the drying process I'm using the heat gun and to see how um, you get that nice effect there. So now I was trying to remove the salt, I kind of smeared some of the paint, I moved it with the... but I'll fix that in a moment. I'll just add some water into the circles and then like dab it uh, with my um, paintbrush. So that's what I'm doing with the big planet here. Just adding some clean water and then really um, dabbing it. So for the planets I'm using the wet on wet technique. So I'm adding, I wetted the circle. I just made sure around the edge, edges I don't go into the sky, the galaxy. So I'm just adding some of, the, of that opera pink and you see how it moves and bleeds uh, into like each line bleeds into the other. And now each color will bleed bleed into the other. It kind of the paint moves free, more freely when we're using the drop and release technique. So I'm just adding more kind of pink around the area like the yellow and then I'm adding some of that purple fuchsia kind of pink purple and just moving that color around. Next, It was a little too wet for me so I decided with a paper towel to dab some of that uh, water. And next I'm heat setting it because I'm impatient to wait to for it to dry. And I'm using that purple fuchsia color to draw with like very small brush around that planet to make it more defined. Next I'm doing the smaller one and I use blue and a little bit of that uh, purple. So just add it one drop of water. So I'm just dabbing it off with a paper towel. Next with a small brush I'm spreading it around the edges kind of to make those edges more defined and kind of adding like more paint around kind of darker. And next I just dabbed it off to get that lighter look of the planet. So next I'm going with very tiny brush. I'm drawing around with uh, black and then I'll mix it up with a little bit of blue. Dab it off. And I'm moving to the next one. So this is the larger one. Well the largest one, not the larger one. Then I'll go with the purple that I used earlier and as well I used for the galaxy. I'm just dropping and releasing around a few areas there. Next I'm going with green and I'll use as well some blue. So here with a small brush I'm adding some blue. And next again with the same small brush I'm kind of defining those um, lines around the circle. Next I'm adding some more and I added some little bit of water. So it's kind of very watery. So I'm adding a little bit more water and now I'm heat setting it. If you leave it to dry um, naturally you'll have more defined lines but the air from the heat gun pushes the water around so it's kind of the colors blend more. So I'm pretty much done with that. Now, now what I'm doing is I'm removing some uh, paint from that background for the stars. I'm using clean brush and I'll create a few craters here on this planet and just clean brush and rubbing off some of the paint and you can see I'm getting those whiter spots that I'll use for uh, to create the craters. So I'm just drawing around here. So I kind of messed them up a little bit. I supposed to leave a little bit white around them. So right now they look like eyes but when it's finished it looks much better. I know it's kind of the whole thing looks very very ugly at the moment but trust me it will start looking much better very soon. 
I'm just creating that one there too. So just dab that off, it kind of seemed too dry. So I'm just re-wetting those areas and I'll pick up some color with the paper towel. Or not. So I think this is done. So now I'm moving on to clean surface here. I have my grid pad, grid paper, and I'm adding some stars using Sakura white gel pen. And I pulled out that uh, Gansai Tambi white uh, watercolor but I didn't use it because I decided to do like the larger stars with the gel pen so I'm just drawing them with the gel pen and I'm adding tiny stars around with it so you can go to town with this gel pen and I found this one to work a little bit better than the um, the uniball white gel pen so that's why I uh, stack out with the Sakura white um, gel pen. So I'm just adding a bunch of those stars around. So you can see now it looks more defined and it looks more like a galaxy. So next I'll use some uh, colored pencils. Here I'm using the Curran Dash Luminance and the Prisma color to add a little bit glow around those stars. And I'm adding a little bit more stars. So I think that I'm sta satisfied with the background. And now I'm going to go and stamp the astronaut. I'm using Hero Arts um, Intense Black Ink. I stamped it twice so I get like darker like more intense black and I'll color it quickly. I'm not really paying much attention about the coloring uh, with um, warm gray and then I use BG01 and BG00 for the head and then I'm using some orange YR12, 15, 18 or something like that. Next I'm adding the darkest spots with the W7, the warm gray 7 and then that's done. Now I'm um, trimming it using my paper snips and I'm going, uh, there is coordinating die cuts but I want, I didn't want to have white line like edge around because it would really stand out on that um, galaxy background so I cut it very closely to the line so you can see there is no white uh, line around and I picked out the stamp so I'm just lining it up in the misty using the powder tool and stamping it with Versamark. Then I'm using Hero Arts white embossing powder to apply to the stamped image and I'm just really quickly heat setting that. Next I'll adhere the astronaut using some dimensional tape, 3M dimensional tape and I'll adhere it onto black note card. So I'll be using the Tombo um, multipurpose glue because this is kind of, it's still kind of warped so that will help to flatten that out and adhere it uh, more securely. So thanks for watching and come back to visit my blog and for more inspiration visit my and subscribe to, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog. Bye!